A. Waste of resources. B. Useless pursuit to influence positive in outcome. We strongly feel that the government must take concrete and concerted action to bring the corporates, the corporates to book to allay the fears of its citizens while at the same time maintaining investor confidence. There is also the burning needs for performance measure for information dissemination such as information accuracy, information timeliness, and information relevance. However, we believe that our social contract theory does not just call for a change in material conditions, but a sense of security and dignity for our people. Decency has the character and the resilience to make Liberia a good country. The fear of our people is deeply rooted in a legitimate security concern. The anchor on our responsibility as stakeholders to respond in a fair, predictable, and timely manner. Our, I mean, on this note, we will end on Proverbs 10 verse 9, and I quote, people with integrity walk safely, but those who follow crook paths will be exposed. A leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and show the way, John C. Maswet. Distinguished member of the full estate, thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen of the press. You just listened to uh, Samuel G. Koga in from uh, Nima County, District number five. Uh, we had in the press press conference, we are happy, pair, we are inquiry, or we got phone pay, we got Pran FM, Banan, Cool FM, Cool FM is also going live. And we get EABC present, OK is here, Fortune TV is here, going live. Then we get Hot FM, then we get a radio can, we'll be carrying it, a radio can, Voice of Peace, Radio Nima, uh, Voice of Gompa, and Radio Seclipi. So before you ask question, uh, we will recognize uh, Jerome to be the first to ask his first question. That'll be brief, gentlemen. Okay, uh, uh, you read a statement just now. Uh, I'd like to know you are the direct uh, lawmaker from District 5, where this young lady held. You know. uh, have you visited the family to identify with them and get, and get some you know, first hand information as to? how they are feeling and what the family intends to do? Yes, as I got the information yesterday, though it had been in the news for a couple of days, but to be precise, knowing that this lady originated from our district was yesterday. So predicated upon that, uh, I was able to have gotten a telephone number from the Ikbola wife from the United States. And this morning we drove there and met that one, or we met the family member. Yes, Even Gong Woke, the born biological father, was in Sano. He has come. They are currently residing uh, in Seyong, I mean, uh, Metale, uh, Logan Town. In uh, Logan Town, St. Matthew Methodist community. There they are residing. We went there, we identified ourselves with them. And we ask them a few questions as it relate to what have been government intervention into the process. And they said that uh, the government, the only government official that has gone there officially was the general minister in person. And then uh, besides that, all of yeah, yeah, information yeah. or those government dignitaries have been reaching them by phone. And I was there where the the family representative spoke with the justice minister and he requested them to meet him today at 2 o'clock. But I left the family in meeting and I told them whatsoever outcome of this let me know. And he also decided that, and he told me that 
Councillor Tiawan Gonglu have volunteered to serve as pro bono uh, lawyer for them. Yes. Okay, the next person is Prince from Prime FM. So, Onokoka, my name is Prince, and I report for Prime FM. Uh, you read a statement uh, in relation to the death of one of our Liberian sisters, Princess Koko. Uh, I mean, in my mind, all of those mysterious deaths in Liberia boil down to insecurity. We we'll just name men and just go, go on. So, you member of the legislature and the issue of insecurity is just what is responsible for most of those things and lack of, like you say in your statement, a political will to bring the perpetrator, the corporate the justice. Uh, what is this legislature doing in terms of uh, uh, looking at the security sector as we approach the elections and when those those things are done and the, 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 the judicial system does not operate properly. What is what do you what how do you look at it as as a member of this body? You know, first play uh we call for law and the laws are, are the laws are there. You got the penal code of the rural library. And then you have also uh, the police and the security apparatus. You got national security agency that are clothed with the authority to do uh, intelligence gathering. First of all, what we anticipate as citizens and also a stakeholder, if whenever such an crime or I mean, an event to, I mean, occur, a situation occur, it is in keeping upon the security apparatus to first of all go through legal means to subpoena the GSM company to immediately provide information to the government through the security means and then to know the court laws, the kind of because according to information, she was caught, there was a court place to her. And where she went now, she met up with demands, demands. So in that, it, it tells you clearly that there was a communication. And the media, and not the media, but the GSM companies had a mechanism put in place that whenever there is a call, there is a call law system that will depict who call and when the person call, and the identity, this is the reason why people raise a SIM card. So our anticipation at this time is that the government through the security apparatus should brief the family now to let them know first hand information and the country also by media that this is a step we are taking and this is a corporate that has been handled and they are undergoing investigation. But that they alleviate some of the fears in the citizenry. Okay, we will recognize Pamu. Uh, this press will be very brief. After Pamu will take one more question, then we'll, then we'll close the conference. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. I will go back. Go back. Thank you. I love Pamu. Um, with respect, I'm going to just say to buttress what he just said. You are part of the government. The first person of government is part of this government. You have an oversight responsibility to checkmate happiness within all the branches of government. What has been the input of the legislature to curtail these repeated killings? Well, as I said earlier, they are laws. It is in keeping upon the legislature to promulgate laws, adequate law that will mend the security of the state. And it is in keeping upon the executive to enforce the law. And it is also in keeping upon the judiciary to interpret. So we have passed a law that whosoever commit criminal activity should be arrested by whom the executive. When that person is arrested, should be subsequently sent to the court for adjudication. So we are lost. Now the only thing that we need to do now is the oversight. Uh, we are anticipating to write the leadership of the house because the house has closed, but the leadership remains. So we're going to write the leadership of the house so that they will be able to cite the various security apparatus and give all first hand information as to what is unfolding in the country. Because they also drive away investors.